Hello, so this is a walkthrough of Kamikaze by Beatrice Garland and I thought um, I'd try something a little bit different so rather than annotating the poem by hand um, there's a website called genius.com and they have some really good annotations and I thought that I would utilise that to show you guys another resource you can use um, that would help you with your annotation when you're coming to poetry. So if we um, have a little look at the start now um, there are always a little bit of context at the start so here um, the kamikaze is a narrative poem it explores a kamikaze pilot's journey towards battle um, and the word kamikaze itself means divine wind so it's this idea that um, there's almost this kind of spirituality behind um, the battle that people are taking place Beatrice Garland isn't Japanese this isn't a an example of a poem where uh, the context is that of the poet she's taken on a persona um, so you can have a little look through that in your own time if you so wish so let's begin uh, reading the poem and looking at some of these annotations. Her father embarked at sunrise with a flask of water, a samurai sword in the cockpit, a shaven head full of powerful incantations and enough fuel for a one way journey into history. But halfway there, she thought, recounting it later to her children, he must have looked far down at the little fishing boats strung out like bunting on a blue, green blue translucent sea. And beneath them, arcing in swathes, like a huge flag waved first one way and then the other in a figure of eight, the dark shoals of fish fishes flashing silver as their bellies swivelled towards the sun. And remembered how he and his brothers waiting on the shore built cairns of pearl grey pebbles to see those who withstood the longest, the turbulent inrush of breakers bringing their father's boat safe, yes, grandfather's boat safe to the shore, salt sodden, awash with cloud-marked mackerel, black crabs, feathery prawns, and loose silver of white bait, and once a tuna, the dark prince, muscular, dangerous. So if we have a little look through those different sections now, you'll notice lots of enjambment across the different stanzas, showing almost this kind of stream of consciousness thought process that is happening in the poem. Um, and on genius.com, what's really useful is if you click on the poem, um, it gives you some notes. So you do have to take it with a pinch of salt because people can um, put their own interpretations in here, but you do have to have a verified account. So um, this kind of tells us about the dramatic monologue style of the poem, it talks about the singular person, personal pronoun he, um, almost separating the two, the persona and the person they're talking about. You've got different meanings of words here. So the word embarked, for example, it means to leave on a plane, but it also means to start a new chapter or a new challenge. Um, and lots of the Japanese propaganda at the time of World War One featured a rising sun. So potentially you could also have that connotation there. So if you just click the cross, they disappear. And you can see actually all of these different um, annotations all come just from that first line. So we have um, the embarkation, this idea of sunrise, and all of that comes out of just that first line of the poem. So if we click on the second section, and you can see um, that actually this person has spoken about an idea of perhaps needing a bit of Dutch courage, some alcohol to kind of give you um, a bit of a boost, whereas actually for the Japanese soldiers, water was suitable because they were so self-controlled um, and then you've got the kind of water, which symbolises life versus the samurai sword, which could symbolise death. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these, but I think what's interesting is the metaphorical meanings. So, for example, the idea of having enough fuel for a one way journey into history. Well, that could be kind of an extension of this idea of having energy and life that you've got just enough in you to make yourself move forwards into history. But it's, it's a, a shorter term goal. Um, so having a little look through this one and um, you can see that she's telling a story. This is a narrative within a narrative and she's imagining what her father must have thought. And you've got these domestic ideas of little fishing boats, which would have been um, very culturally relevant if you think about the nature of trade, especially in Japan at that time. Um, you've got this beautiful natural imagery of the green blue translucent sea and the natural animals all moving around um, like a flag waved first one way and then the other, almost like the, the animals within the sea are telling him to wave the white flag of surrender to leave. Um, so we can interpret it in that way. And again, we've got this repeated image of the sun, which we call a motif when an image runs through. So Watch the next video for further analysis.